Hey everybody, <laughs> welcome back to another episode of Vault Hunters. I'm not on the server yet because you might remember last time we, um, well, had an error and I couldn't get back onto the server after it disconnected me in a vault. So, uh, I gotta do the intro and stuff so the clock isn't ticking while we're on the, the server because we've got 25 minutes left. I did just join like a few minutes ago before I started this because I forgot that I was in a vault and then I get in and I'm in the vault and I'm like, oops, abandoned ship. Zine's probably what the frick is happening right here. Anyway, make sure that you, uh, oh, is, is California Pizza Kitchen here? Hey man, how's it going? I'm hoping I don't get to level 115 today because I've heard some rumors inside the Vault Hunters Discord that level 115, the strays apparently are bad. They hurt. Yikes. Very scary. So, hey, like the video. Uh, check out our sponsor, Quality Content at qualitycontent.com. Limited time only and stuff and things. Hold on. There we go. Look, I'm wearing shorts. Oh, God. You probably don't want to see my legs, but, 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 I got to show you the logo on the shorts. That's pretty cool. A beanie, and then the shirt. Oh, my God. There's just, there's so much quality content everywhere to go around. So, check it out. Link in the description and all that good stuff. Um, subscribe, turn on notifications, hit the bell so you get everything. And, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. mcprohosting.com slash Kevin Sparkles for 25% off and things like that. So, all right, everybody. Let's get on, and I have to join, immediately connect, and then we go, okay? Yeah, dude, forking shorts, right? Forking shorts, my dude. Um, we got E-Cube and Seabass. Thank you for gifting a sub. Very much appreciated. Did you like video today? Hopefully you like video today. Big 10-year revenge anniversary. Obviously, it was a few days ago if you're watching this on YouTube, but you know, you know how there's a delay between the streams and the upload. Okay, connect, 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 get ready, get ready for the connect, get ready for the connect. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. All right, and then of course, yes, there's the Reddit vid on the second channel, but that was recorded on Monday. I record those on Mondays, and then there's a little bit of turnaround time so the editing can get done. I feel like I need to offer some clarity as to the editing. Um... And who does what? So Keegan, he does he does the Reddit videos on Captain Sparkles 2. He used to do some of the Reddit videos on um, the Jordan Reacts channel. Jordan Reacts channel is done has been done by various editors through Pocket Watch, which is the multi-channel network YouTube company that I, my channels are under their CMS. So Pocket Watch employs editors, and they have uh, done the... Okay, connect, connect, connect. They have done the Jordan Reacts videos, uh, kind of since inception. Okay, so we have 23 minutes left here in the vault. This was the chest that deleted me last time, and we're good here now. All right, I gotta, I gotta get my bearing. I gotta, I gotta get my bearings straight. I believe we were going that way, and this is a furious... Uh, vault, so all the mobs are gonna be doing a lot more damage, and it's very fun and exciting. Woo! Okay, cool. Cool, but it is a, it's a four obelisk. So, we were, this is not a raffle. We can leave if we want to. No one's gonna remember what the coordinates were at all. Um, I feel like my frame rate's very low. It's like the game is just kinda, it's just kinda getting into the swing of things, loading up and stuff like that. Alright, I'm gonna be slightly distracted to try and have the conversation while leaving the vault. Okay, so. Pocket Watch and various editors, Jordan Reacts channel. Keegan was one of those editors, and then he went off to do, like, freelance and other stuff, and um, then I was like, hey, at one point I reached out to Pocket Watch, was like, hey, um, interested if you got anyone who'd be interested to doing in, in doing the, like, the Captain Sparkles subreddit videos, and they were like, oh, he's not working with us anymore, but he might be interested in doing them once a week or something like that. Uh, did I go the... I totally went the... I totally missed a thing. That's cool. That's cool. And um, so that's Keegan. And then uh, obviously all the other things for the most part on the uh, Captain Sparkles 2 channel are, are unedited. The only thing that's edited on Captain Sparkles 2 is the Reddit videos. And then the main channel now... Should I do... Should I do 249 levels? Sure. We might as well get some altars up in here. Um, main channel is My Night Purge Highlights. 
uh, doing all the vids and stuff like that. So now you have clarification. A lot of <laughs> even though that, that only applies to the people who actually watch this video specifically. But hey, you know. Uh, all right. Here we go. Am I gonna collect those levels? This is good. I'm within range. Cool, cool, cool. All right, Debbie. Thank you for the ten sub gifts. Much appreciated. Man, they made it so that the uh, the sub gift animation is like so much bigger and more dramatic in the chat now. I feel like that. What? Did, when did they implement that? Like a couple weeks ago or something like that. But it's just so much. It's so much more dramatic, dude. Yeah, it occupies like the entire thing. It's crazy. All right, just alternate shift and and right click, and then we we get there. There we go. All right, what do we get? Wow, that is actually like a lot of stuff in there. That's kind of kind of swick, kind of swick. Wait, what am I doing? Is my magnet on? My magnet is still on. Cool. Two choice flasks? Whoa, that's pretty cray-cray, dog. All right, power apple there. Oh, bit of lag. Uh, I think it's just kind of, it's being a little laggy, probably because I, like, joined the server in a vault. I'm hoping that it fixes itself once we're done here. It's just, you know, circumstance is a little bit, uh, a little bit unusual with the start here to things, but at least we're jumping straight into the action. Ooh, nice little, uh, what was that, an epic chest? There is an ant on my toe right now. I'm not even looking down but I can feel it, and it is very annoying. Ow, that kind of hurt. That's not what I wanted. Okay. There you go, I can do this now, great. So, um, yeah, what I have heard is that strays, it's rumor has it that strays in, why can't I even hit you guys? Your hitboxes are all over the place. Strays are big, big, big bad in level 115 and higher. So we have five levels, apparently, until our lives are gonna be very, very not... Okay, that's actually hurting. That's actually hurting. I don't like that. That's hurting a lot. Mm -mm. I wish you wouldn't uh, do that. No, thank you. Freaking spiders are big, big pain here. Wow, there are... Never mind, I might not be able to finish this. That is, like, way too many spiders there. Holy crap. And they have tiny little holy frick balls. Okay, they hurt. Nope, not not doing that. Nope, not doing that. R.I.P. That one. No, thank you. Yeah, I I bro, I can't deal with those tiny little hitboxes. And also like Omega Omega no frame rate right now. Like oh boy, my PC is not happy with having like joined in the middle of a vault. I don't know what the heck the deal is, but it is not okay with it. I'm only, like, slightly concerned about, do I fight the boss? Or do I abandon? Maybe I just go for, like, the quick boss. Does anybody know if the boss's damage also gets impacted by Furious and Raging? Because if it do, that's a little scary. Um... Any other things in here? No, it does not. Okay. I guess slightly reassuring. I need to find a chest to dump some stuff. Man, why were there like 50 million spiders spawning right there? Every time we run a scavenger vault with Iskall, Iskall is like, bro, you will never, we're never going to be able to find the spiders. And then like, freaking lo and behold, I stopped for two seconds somewhere. There are 50 tiny spiders. No, no. Uh, uh, Larola, thank you for the five sub gifts. Much appreciated. Jen loves all. Thank you for the five sub gifts. I'm going up here so I don't get obliterated when I get back. We're going to the arena, ladies and gentlemen. This is uh, going to be... This is going to be... The, the most, like, uh, uh, we've had various breaks here in this vault. Oh my god, dude, it is, why is it so laggy for me right now? What is going on today? It's just, it's just angry for some reason that this vault has continued for such a long time. Um, alright, cool, 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 you guys absolutely dominated. Much appreciated, dude, much appreciated. Okie dokie. 
What? What do you mean the timer? Timer's fine. Timer's all good. Uh, okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. It might be good to try to find, like, a water room, though, to fight the boss so that I at least can kind of keep my distance. Wait, did Michael actually win? That's really funny. Congratulations to Michael McChill on an incredible victory. That's great. Okay, continuing along. All right, well, is this the room that we wish to fight? Oh, yeah, it's actually a water room. This is great. This works. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We'll do this. We'll summon the boss. Do that. And... Okay, looks like it is a flamey boy. Yeah, I just with the frame lag that I'm getting in here, I, I don't wanna I don't wanna stay in here any longer than I need to. Okay. Only slightly scared of the guardians doing damage to me. Because they already do decent damage and I don't want them zapping me down. Okay, cool. We are good. Huh. Okay. Safe up here. Good job! I think that was... Who Who was that? Who was that that spawned? Uh, it was Loki Lover. Good job, Loki Lover. Much appreciated. CBK, you believe in artifacts? Alright, sweet. <laughs> what is this material? Is this Vault Rock? Please tell me this is not Vault Rock. Okay, it's not Vault Rock. Oh, okay. Wait, it's Vault Stone, which is, I guess, different than Vault Rock. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. Why do they always know? Why? Why do they know? Who is snitching? Who is snitching here? How dare you? I thought that we were friends, but I guess instead we'll just have to settle for a thumbnail. Okay, hold on. Got to set that up. Got to get the FOV right. And then, um, there we go. Thumbnail. Great. Cool. Got to commemorate that moment. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now, uh, see, look at that. Look at that big, look at that big item frame that then just turns into the little image frame when I break it. I'll tell you what, though. I'll tell you what. I can... I'll leave the top row with the troll face, because it'll be a memento of the whole thing. Although he did break my wood. Would you look at that? Also... Oh, he had to inset that. You know what we could do? You know what we could do? Put... Put the picture frame here. And then put this in it. There we go. Great. It's very small, but if you zoom in, you can really see it. It's very high res. Isn't that impressive? Um, yeah, bro, why am I, I'm, my frames are non-existent right now. Like, what is happening? From your favorite teammate, please craft. Oh, this is holy mother of God. What? Wow, he went all in on the vaulting. It's, whoa, holy crap. Okay, I think I need to, like, disconnect or something. Like, I have absolutely no frame rate, and I don't know why. What is happening? Bro, my frame rate is 11, 10, 14. What is going on? What is happening right now? Uh, it's like it's like season one. I'm Hold on, let me check my task manager. 
What the fr- my CPU is at 100%? What the heck is going on? I am disconnecting right now. What? Is happening? Yeah, hold the line. How is my CPU at... It's at 77%? What? Huh? Is that normal? I don't think that's normal. Uh, let me... Let me get out of Minecraft really quick and see what the frick is happening. Uh. Okay. My CPU is at 80%. And I am not in Minecraft anymore. What is going on? What is destroying... Apparently, Chrome is destroying my CPU. Why? Okay, kind of kind of helped fix things a little bit, but we'll see where it goes. Uh, still a little bit of frame stutter and stuff like that. It's not ideal. It's definitely not in an ideal... Oh, great, cool. It just... Frick! What is wrong with my PC? It's such a piece of garbage. I initiate a capture card and it just destroys my computer. Oh, and now we're up. What the frick are you doing? What the frick are you doing, PC? What are you doing? And now OBS is just like, nope, I'm going to use 50% of your processor for whatever. Why? Why are you doing that, OBS? That What possible reason could you have to do such a thing? Um, oh god. Maybe I can just pop out chat. Okay, hopefully problem solved. Now, right? Yep, Ho that would be, that would be great. We'll see, we'll see. It seems, it seems slightly better. So, anyway, Dreadful Soul with the 25 hundo bits. Yes, it's been time to upgrade my computer for a very, very long time. I just, ah, uh, shortages on video cards and stuff like that. And also, it's the, it's the mix of the place that I would order a pre-build from will not let me pick it up from their warehouse. And video cards, if I were to want to just build it all and order the parts separately, uh, you just can't get them. So, that's the issue. Anyway, um, and then we got Silly Lily with the 25 hundo bits. Much appreciated. So, let's see. We got the perfect Larry. And then we got... Another new skin, pretty swick. Then we got the Soul Flame up there. Very swick. Thank you, Dreadful Soul. And then uh, Dotchides with the Mystery Vault Stew. Very Q. Very Q. Much appreciated. Okie dokie. And then, okay, so now we have the Arena Crate and the Boss Crate to open from the vault that we just ran. Very cool. Okay. Oh, wait. That's, that's just the looting that we did. So, M Michael McShill. Michael McShill. What do you know? Should we not drain Michael McShill? Lord T-Rex with the... Whoa! Okay, Dreadful Soul doing what Dreadful Soul do and gifting uh, 10 tier 3 subs. What do you know? All right. Well, there we go. We got that. And then uh, Lord T-Rex with the mod box over here. There we go, looking good, looking good. Uh, you do not have to apologize for being gone. That's that's totally fine. Also, oh, I do believe we had an artifact prediction. Let me just place that down really quick. And no artifact. Congratulations, non-believers. You're doing great. Okay, these all become watermelon. Other than Dreadful Soul. Because now, if you do the sub-gift, you get your own. Um, which is pretty cool. It, the tier three sub gift, you get your own trader core. So Vault Silver for Wu Tax Crystal. Did I, I can't remember if I put those in there, if I put them in there. Uh I just put the shards in there, but I put the full crystals into there. So 
Thank you again, Dreadful Soul. And then watermelons all the way. Let's go. Watermelon. How many times has this happened now? That I am always performing an action on something when I am gifted a new trader core. And it goes in. Uh, Nelly, 32. Yo, it's a tier two. Let's go. Let's go. We got to buy that. Well, okay, we'll buy it and roll it after we're done here. Okay, we don't get, we don't see tier twos very often. We don't see tier twos very often. All right, watermelon. What is that? Vault bronze. And then let's see. We got a skill essence. Boom. And then we got a vault burger. And we got a vault plating. I wonder if we have a hundred in uh, in the watermelon vending machine. I mean, there's still plenty that we want to buy out of it eventually. Maniacal bird to watermelon. Are they tier twos? That's the question. They're not tier twos. And all right, got some gold trade candy bar. And could they be tier two leggings? I feel like if they cost three gold at this point. They're required to be. They're not. Frick. Okay. Here we go, everybody. Tier two roll. Let's do it. Come on. Something great. Something great. It's a scrappy plus. It could be. You never know. Every now and again, we've got something that's not scrappy. Actually, 12% resistance out of a scrappy is probably worth keeping. Hmm. Actually, better than I would have expected, despite the scrap. All right, we could put those into here as the old backup Rooney. Yeah, and they have four levels too. Four levels at it. Yeah, it's it's tight. It's tight. Four levels too. Wu tax. You want me to Wu tax it? Oh yeah, they are the <laughs> the devil's pants. Six six six. Wow, crazy. What are my current? They are six. They're not gonna get the armor toughness, but I don't know. I don't know. All right, we'll do a poll for Wu Tax. Yes, no, start the poll. All right, and then I have to make so many things for H-Bomb. It's weird that I have to like restart my computer after initiating my capture card. Like what? Why? I don't understand. That is a lot of knowledge. That is a whole lot of knowledge out of that. Good God. How's it looking? Whoa, yes is... Winning by a very substantial margin. All right. Oh, we got a lot of gift bombs to do. So let's open those first. Okay, we got Gem Loves All. We got La Rolla. Um, did I get Gem Loves All? I'm sorry if I didn't. Gem Loves All, thank you for that. Devi with the 10. And then Nelfida, I believe, was from last time. But, you know, we got booted out of the vault. So that happened. So there we go. Very cool. Thank you very much. So what were these? Uh, Rampage and Summon Eternal. All right, all right. How many hardy apples do I have? So the thing is, what level is Iskal? Because I'm like, I'm wondering. Ooh, we like overgrowth seeds. I'm wondering, he has this, like, glass cannon build that he's using, and in order to do it, he has to have hardy apples, right? But, like, oh, he's 117? Is he running into the vaults with strays with his glass cannon build? Because isn't that really risky? They're apparently dealing crazy, crazy amounts of damage, unless, like, there's something with the spec on Pete and H-Bomb that makes them... Uh, he is? Wow. Okay. 
Was he not having problems with any of the strays? Or yeah, yeah, strays is what I meant, not husks. If I was saying husks, uh, Loki of Baker Street Silver for block of netherite. What? That's a new trade, I think. Oh, I actually like that. That's a cool trade. Oh yeah, check artisan. True. Hey, I still the fastest boss kill. Let's go. I'm good. I'm safe. I am safe. Thank you. All right. So, I guess I'm just gonna just gonna get a use a crate for H bomb here. So H bomb would like a fancy sword. There he goes. Great. Oh my cr oh, we've still got some stuff in one of these. Ah, that. <sighs> H almost got wrecked. Yeah, he he was saying he was a very big scared in the in the Discord. Uh do I have any vault ingots? No, I don't. Okay, cool. I can just throw all these in here and boots all the way then. Look at this. This is insane. Okay, there's your boots. Boy, oh boy. Boy, all this for a gluttony charm? All this for a gluttony charm, man? Is it just me or does it feel like he's getting a good deal out of this? I feel like he's getting a really good deal out of this. Pete was having a bad time last night. Yeah, it's... It's like... I know it's low effort, but that's the same for him. He was just crafting. He just crafted one gluttony charm. I'm crafting a crate of armor. That's a lot more crafting recipes. Just FYI, if you math that out, that's a significant amount more crafting recipes. <laughs> uh, okay, he actually, we'll just, we'll just say that if I ever lose my gluttony charm in a vault, he just has to always make me more. Or at least he has to make me a full crate of them. All right, cool. I'm glad you agree, H bomb. I'm I'm making a special delivery to your base. Glad that you're watching. That way we can just um, you know, I don't have to put a sign on it or anything like that. Here, I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it up here, right next to all your armor stuff. There you go. Oh, he's. Not here. I was caught off guard. This is like some haunted house kind of stuff right there. Thought he was on the server. It's like, I didn't notice you. He hello. Um. <laughs> cool. Let me check how my PC is doing. Yeah, CPUs, it's, it's, yeah, it's angry a little bit, but you know. Doing okay. I guess it's mostly when I like teleport that it's a little bit upset about things. All right. So uh, the overwhelming vote was to Wutex. All right. These Woots are made for taxing, and that's just what they'll do. I guess at least I have at least I have a lot of Wutex crystals. ESC Sora, thank you for five. Sub gifts, that is very nice of you. Oh, did I get anything in here? By the way, a little bit of vault dust, plating, bronze, star essence. Cool, cool, cool. The rest of the stuff. Just gonna let like the rest of the stuff build up. Oh frick. Just put the bronze back in there. Just gonna let the rest of the stuff build up. Because it's not like I really care if I lose a bunch of string inside of a vault. So, everything else, though, that we might care about. Let me grab that. Why are you not going in there? Weird. Uh, okay. Okay. 
Here we go, everybody. Here we go. So, I don't think that scrappy armor like gets really good a good pool of rolls. So it's probably just going to roll durability. But you, we at least have a decent amount of the Wu Tech shards to go off of. Oh, okay. I was like, it didn't do anything. <laughs> You have to put it back in your inventory for it. I didn't realize that. You can't just recycle it. It won't actually do anything. Cool. Good to know. I was very scared there for a moment. 7% uh, knockback resistance. Here we go. What's next? 4% parry. Actually, 4% parry plus 16 or 12% resistance is... It's a lot of... It's a lot of deflection. And... What's going to be... Wither immunity, okay, okay, but I think we have that on our boots right now, but I guess it would save us if we ever needed it, and it's gonna be, whoa, okay, that's 19, 19% on a single piece of armor, huh? It's not the worst, it's not the worst, but we don't have that regeneration, that's the only bummer, but they are solid pantaloons. They are solid pantaloons, I will say. They could be, I mean, look, you compare it to like 1% parry, 2% resistance, 1% cooldown reduction, 2% parry. You compare it to that, you're like, oh, okay. I see you, I see you. Yeah? Regen 1 isn't even good, though. It, it helps you over time. It definitely helps you over time. Um, yeah. And I do need to repair my armor soon. I, I think I can let it get down to about 300 and then I'll do it. Boots are okay. They have 1,200 still. I can let this get down a lot lower. It just it has big, big base durability, so it looks like it's lower than it actually is. The Heckman is actually the lowest of everything. Um. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. You're right. There we go. I don't know what I'm going to do once we get the next eternal, though, because we'll see. Maybe I'll, I could expand it in this direction, actually. I could start, like, dumping these into the uh, ME system. So, yeah. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Great. Awesome. Fantastic. Exciting. Very exciting. All right, let me check what we got in here. I can get a few more arrows. All right, cool. Eye of Enders, we got spare set of crates. Great. Watermelon Eternal will have to be, like there are some trades in the Watermelon Eternal that could eventually be useful. So I don't want to like fully yeet everything yet. But anyway, perhaps today we should do a little bit of work on finalizing and running one of one of these one of these maybe um i mean we could do we could do horde gilded because the odds that we're going to end up finding i guess the only thing that would be nice is if we got like a treasure on it or not not treasure like a super lucky so we got lucky, but finding super lucky on it. We could try it at other people's bases. Silly Lily, thank you for the 10 sub gifts. Very appreciated. Very nice of you. Very nice of you. Let me, um, I'll try that. I'll try that really quick. Go into everybody else's place, put this thing in, see if we can roll super lucky. Oh, optimistic could be good. I think we have some extended catalysts in here, right? Personal space. Literally can't add any of those anyway. Oh, no, we have extended. We just don't have optimistic, right? Okay. Uh, yeah, let me check some other people's bases. We could also try to get some more crystals, which we can try against our existing catalysts. Also a possibility. What is this again? Anybody remind me? Uh, okay. I 
keep thinking that people are home. Soul bead. Okay, cool. And all right. Ah, you know, the old super lucky frenzy. Mm hmm. Nice. It's a it's a nice little positive negative right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. H bomb would be like, do it. Absolutely do it. <laughs> um I on the other I the thing is, Iskal would probably he'd probably give that to me, dude. Margo Knotts, thank you for gifting a tier three sub to Revenge. Uh Vault Silver for Void Upgrade. Ooh, Zine would like that. I Iskal would just be like, no, you can have that. You can have that. You can, go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. I want to see you run a frenzy. I want to see you run a frenzy. He would totally, he'd totally, he'd let me have the catalyst just to see it happen. He would. That's the funny thing. Um. All right. Yeah, but dude, apparently, if the the strays are that bad, if the strays are that bad when it's a non-frenzy vault, imagine running a frenzy after level 115. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right, let's go to Pete's really quick. Um... He has a super lucky already. Like it's it's a super lucky crystal guaranteed. So that's not we're not gonna be able to take that. Don't be deceived. This one is a super lucky negative negative. A lot of plentifuls, a lot of plentifuls this man's has. And oh, he just straight up has two personal space onlys. Oh, what a wow. Oh, look at all this. He has he has three peats of ones. My goodness. R.I.P. May they someday be seen again. Um, let's go. I mean, I could just make a few more crystals. Let's see. Do I have any soul beads? I don't have any soul beads. How do you do the soul bead again? Is it a... Oh, I can afford that. I can afford that. There is no need to go into the nether for that. Mm -mm. I can't, however, throw it out with my magnet on. Yeah, four Laramar for some time saving. I'll take that trade any day. Make a grave for Tubbo. <laughs> oh dear. Um, no, no. Maybe he shall return. Maybe you never know. He showed up for. He showed up to do that co-op vault. He might surprise us. Yeah, dude. I'm I'm rich on the vault gems now. You better believe it. Also, I think so is dark. Why do I keep searching dark instead of dark? Uh yeah. Okay. We actually have enough, which is very exciting. That doesn't always happen. Another crystal. Hopefully it will give us greatness. Oh, do I have a do I have any more catalysts? Oh, I have nine catalysts. Let me make. I'm going to make one. I'll save some catalysts in case I want to make like another table at some point. Missing the lecture. I just need to spend all of my emeralds on bookshelves. It's super annoying. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, hold on. Let's do that. Make that. I'm just going to get a bunch of bookshelves. Lucky altar as a skill. Nah. Just doesn't excite me very much. And then, okay. 
Actually, I don't want to make it yet. I don't want to make it yet. I just want to do, I just want to do the catalyst to start off with. What is it? Phoenix cursed, cursed. Huh. <laughs> Could run Phoenix on this, but I think it might have all the curses, so it might not actually let me do it. Shadow Monarch Gaming, thank you for the ten sub gifts. That's pretty swick. Much appreciated, dude. Much appreciated. Okay, I could. Will you let me apply Phoenix Curse? No, no, we have all the curses. We have literally every curse on here. So I can't, I can't even apply this crystal. It's good. I feel like keeping a Phoenix, though, is good. So I'll, I won't reroll yet. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? Let's see. Oh, it's so convenient. Let's see. Lucky Daycare Hunger. Lucky Locked. Lucky Difficult. That's already extended. Crowded. Nothing very exciting at all those. And also nothing very exciting. And this one simply will not display. It's bugged. So that's great. Do the Frenzy Super Lucky. If I could apply Phoenix to it, I would do it. I would. I would do it. Um, but I feel like it's a little bit too risky at the current moment, you know? Just a little risky. Oh yeah, I can break this now. But the views, <laughs> yeah, the view, it would just be, it would just be Iskall watching. On many, many accounts. Iskall would get me all the views. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's exactly how it would go. As a reward, he'd, <laughs> he'd open up 50 million tabs. And then, uh, and then we'd, be, we'd be crushing it out here, dude. We'd be crushing it. It is tempting. It is tempting. But I, I do think I would run into some scary, scary trouble. Especially if I got shot off by a skeleton while I wasn't paying attention. And I fell into like a Vindicator. That would be bad news. Be very, very bad news. If you had heal and super heal with the totem, um, it would have heal, and I have regen on the pants, and I could get regen on the totem. It would be regen three. To be fair, it would be regen three. I wouldn't be too worried. I'd be mostly worried if I just got instantly like nuked down out of nowhere. Um. All right, what do we got? I think this is a pretty easy one. Let's get some rotten flesh. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, frick, did I? I forgot to do a raffle. Oh, shoot. I'm just going to do the raffle now, and then we'll do another one at the end. Yes, I I should be able to do two raffles. Uh, thank you for the reminder. Okay, we're going to just, we're going to do a raffle now, and then we're going to, do another one. Yep, 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 yep. True, true, true. A lot of names. A lot of names from two streams worth. Yep, mm-hmm. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hey, Black Pigeon EXP. He did the five tier three sub gift route, so that was pretty swick. Thank you very much. Once again, that was from last stream. Um, okay, now we just need to get a lot of notifications so that we have a... a or, or maybe not. Maybe it'll just be one more person does some action between now and the end of the stream, and they just guaranteed raffle win. Guaranteed raffle win. All right. So, there is part of me that's tempted to run the frenzy and do it. Uh, 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 there's part of me that, like, I would I would take my toad, do it, do it, you should. Um... Hold on, hold on. Oh my god. Slash poll frenzy super lucky. Do it. Don't be safe. Don't be smart. Oh, hey, Mef. Sorry, I didn't catch your message there. I got pushed off the screen real quick, but what's up, dude? List Games, thank you for the five sub gifts. Appreciate that. 
I do need to do it before the strays because the strays come in at 115. So I think if I did it with the strays, I'd be in huge trouble because even if I built up, I'd be getting, be getting shot at and they do huge amounts of damage. So, oh, you look dripping. Oh, thank you, man. Was that a, a good moment for me to be able to go and do a little uh, promo? Name drop qualitycontent.com. Um, oh my God, 75% want to see me unalive. 75% want to see me unalive. I don't even think I need to like ask Iskall. I think this, I'm just going to, I'll, I'll give him a crystal that's similar or a catalyst that's similar. And he'll be like, I'm glad that you've done this. I'm glad that you've done this. He'll say, leave the cheese hat at home. Uh, but the cheese hat gives me reach. And the, I need reach in order to be able to effectively do this. I think I actually, and also the cheese hat gives me 30 health. It gives me additional armor. I need, I need the cheese hat. I need it. It's the only way that I'm able to run this thing. You know? Oh, hearty apples is actually a good idea for this. Hardy apples is a good idea. Casacara says keep the cheese. And Casacara is the one who would actually be, I, I would be, uh, she'd be inheriting the cheese and she's saying to do it. So really, our heir, our heir is saying to do the cheese. You're kind of unalive. <laughs> um, Iskall would love this. He would. Okay, I'm just going to message. Instead of asking, I'm going to tell him. I am using one of your catalysts to get super lucky on a crystal. It comes with frenzy. I thought you would like this. So I'm just replacing the catalyst. Okay. All right. We'll see how this goes. This is going to be a very interesting experience. Uh, we cannot soul flame. You can't soul flame unless it's a, uh, a brand new crystal and it doesn't have modifiers on it. So it's not allowed. Uh, okay. What kind of catalyst was it that was doing frenzy? We literally, we can't apply Phoenix. We can't. It's, we have curses on our thing. It's like not possible to do. Um, let's see. I don't think Frenzy does more armor damage. It just does more damage. So our armor is not going to degrade anymore. It's just going to, you know, I'll bring in a repair core in case I need it. But yeah. All right. Uh, oh, I need the crystal. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm not going to know which one. Oh, it was healing positive negative. Okay. Well, I don't have a crystal that does exactly that, do I? Oh, I have healing curse curse, but he'd probably want something that has positive negative as well. So what's a, what's a positive negative one I have? Uh, what is the best equivalent? Fairy dragons, thank you for the 10 sub gifts. Very generous. Very, very generous, dude. Okay, which one do you guys think, like, uh, should be a positive, negative, cursed? A positive, negative, slow, oh, oh, personal space, positive, negative. That's a good idea. Did I have one of those? No, I don't have one of those, do I? I don't have personal space, positive, negative, personal space, negative, negative. I don't have anything that's a positive with... A positive negative. Hmm. I don't actually have a good replacement for this crystal. Um. You know what? I don't think I can do this. I don't think I can do this. Any replacement is good. Oh, he can't use healing. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. He doesn't like healing. He'll never use that crystal. Okay. I'll just give him a positive negative hunger then. Cool. 
Okay. All right. Cool, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Cool, 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 cool. Very swick. Very swick. Merry swickmas. And let's... Oh, yeah. I got to bring the crystal. Wait, does this have weekend? I guess weekend actually wouldn't matter anyway. Because they don't do any damage, really. I actually might bring in an infinity bow into this one, though. Uh, an infinity power six bow. It could it could actually be helpful. Maybe. So, yeah. Uh, okie dokie, okie dokie. No, I don't need to give him sparkle. Dean. He, he loves this, dude. He loves this. All right, where was it? Where was it? Was it Healing Super Lucky Frenzy? There you have it. All right, here we go. What was it? I think I need 24. I can't believe I'm doing this. Who am I? I don't even know myself right now. I don't even know who I am. God, this is so uncharacteristic. Taking a risk like this? What in the frick is it? Super healing hard. Can you imagine healing super healing? <laughs> How crazy that would be. I'll check it with my other things, but super healing furious. Even more damage. Even more damage plus super healing. I'll check with my catalyst. I'll check. Would H would even H bomb do this? Phoenix fast weakened. Hmm. No, he wouldn't like that. He would not allow me to trade for. I'll have to if I roll it on one of my catalysts. If I roll it on one of my catalysts, let's see. He wouldn't like having Phoenix on there, dude. He would not like having it. Don't take your sword. Don't risk losing it, Leech. Oh, Leech won't do anything. That's true. I could just take another sword. And uh, also another Voltax. True that, true that. All right, see then. Um, let me check my catalyst, though. We'll see if I can pull anything here. And what have we got? Uh, personal space, fast rushed. That is a lot of fast and rushed. And then mega strong, furious, and weakened. Nope, I don't think any of those are it. Eh, locked. <laughs> locked, yeah. No, thank you. No, thank you. All right. All right. So. Hmm. What we can do is we can leave the sword. Um, we can leave the sword behind. And then I could, could run that. Let me see if there's any other swords that would be helpful for us. Um, I guess this one, this one's fine. Yeah, I'll just take this one in. It wouldn't be like a huge deal if I lost it. I'll also leave the axe behind. Because we're not going to need that. And in the place of the backpack, I'm going to get a bow. Uh, one of the POW 6, but I should have it. What, uh, power? Why don't I have any bows in here, dude? What? Oh, use a sword with regen cloud? It's not gonna, I'm not gonna be swinging the sword super often though is the only thing. It's not gonna proc regularly. Uh, I don't, I honestly like don't think it will proc very regularly. So, the luck gear and luck apple for the Rubik's cube room. I don't have a luck apple. Use Pickering instead of... The Pickering does not do very much damage. Alright. Pow 6, Pow 6, Infinity... Okay, Pow 5, Infinity, I'm breaking. I guess I'll just do that. They do not have one health. They have one third of their health. Frenzy. Um, oh, wait. They only have one health? Really? Oh. Huh. 
The Picarain doesn't often take him out, though. I didn't realize that they actually only have one health. Huh. Uh, Withering Cloud will instantly demonetize them. Oh, so we actually like Withering Cloud, then. That's a good idea. We'll use this, then. Yeah, it's because of their armor. I got it. I got it. I'd prefer to use the bow anyway, uh, because the Picarang can, like, sometimes just not go back into my inventory and be kind of stupid. Um, I'd love to use the Reach Totem, but even if we, we get out of range, it doesn't let me even access the chests oftentimes, so... All right, here we go. We're going. This is this is, calls. This calls for the regen totem, ladies and gentlemen. So we got regen two here. Um, wait. Do I actually not need an arrow here? I don't need an arrow. That's convenient. Okay. I suppose I could bring an anvil and repair core just in case. We have enough materials to make repair cores without it being, like, too big of a deal. I think pogs are not, like, cheap, but um, we we can... If we lost a couple repair cores, it's not the end of the world, and I'd like to have it in case of these. The leggings are a little low, and the cheese heckmet is a little bit low. Yeah, hardy apples, too, is a good point. Take a stack of them. All right, repair cores there. Why the frick? Okay, weird. A skull chews through three stacks in a vault. Oh my god. A god apple just in case. Sure, I could do that. Pete had a vault yesterday that dinged 700 plus durability on him, breaking five gear. Huh? What? What in the frick is what? Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anvil. Hold on, let me make an anvil. He went through two totems. Oh. Well, that's uh, scary. That's a little bit scary. Okay, repair cores, anvils. Just in, but this, to be fair, he's at level one fifteen, and one fifteen is apparently bad for health and stuff. So there is that to consider. All right. Uh. I don't need the power apple here, do I? That's actually a waste to have in our inventory. Um, candy bar could be okay. Do we have like speed or anything on this thing? No, you're slowed, but yeah. So the candy bars will kind of be nice to have. And all right, cool, cool, cool. Are vexes at level? No, vexes are at level 125, I believe. Um, oh, I need a tier two repair core. Actually, no, no, no. We have a thousand, we have a thousand durability on this. This thing's fine. It just looks low because it has 4,000 durability, but it's fine. We're, we've never gone through a thousand durability. And if that were to happen, we can leave the vault. It's not locked. So like if we've taken a thousand durability, we're probably having a very bad time and I need to go. So yeah. Um, power apple for fighting the boss. I mean, I guess. Am I really gonna? I don't think I'm gonna fight the boss here, though. This is a bad. It's a bad vault to fight the boss in because I could get attacked while fighting the boss by the other mobs, and then I'm gonna have a bad time. So, yeah, okay, whatever. I'll bring it just in case. I was trying to like clear out space in my hot bar, you know, so that I can put things into a. Um, a chest without it being a huge, or a crate without it being a huge deal. In case it's locked, it's not going to be locked though. It's from a catalyst. You know if it's going to be locked. Keys? Yeah, I'm not bringing keys into this thing. Heck no, dude. Heck no. 
Um, the th oh yeah, I guess I can just put it into there. Sure. Pow apple in there. Anything else that can go in? Um, I guess I don't necessarily need. Yeah, I don't really need this. I don't need that. So there, we'll do that, and we'll do that. Okay, cool. That's how we'll run it. Um, because we're we're mostly going for gilded chests, and so gilded chests aren't going to have the uh the runes in them and stuff like that that we have to worry about. Cool. Oh, our goblins one HP. That is a good question. I wonder. I wonder. It would be very nice. For some reason, I don't think they are, but you never know. You never know. All right, everybody. <clears throat> this is... This is going to be it. This is going to be it. Yeah. Okay, so is there anything else that we would want to level here before we go? I don't know that three skill points is going to do anything huge for us. <clears throat> Ghost walk. That would only be like one level of ghost walk, I think. And it doesn't, gives us two extra seconds. Two extra, oh, is my sword not enchanted? Oh, it isn't, ha, huh. ha, huh. I should do that. Smite the five. Sure, I don't think I need to apply smite six, not in a frenzy vault. Unbreaking. And I think that's all we need. Do I actually get uh, no fall damage from Sojourners? Is that actually true? But also, um, okay, Sojourner stash is, I can unlearn skills, I can. Let me see. Hold on, Botania. Globe Trotter's Sash. Let me just see. Nope, 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 nope. When worn in the bobble slot, it will increase the wearer's speed, their jump height, and grant them step assist if not sneaking. In addition, the player will take three less points of fall damage. That doesn't sound like immunity to me. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, uh-uh. That is wrong. Uh, oh wait, is that? Oh, flame doesn't matter. Okay, good. And then. Cool. Okay, let me check the Nimbus amulet real quick. Botania Nimbus Amulet. Um, jumping in midair will nullify all fall damage. But that says specifically jumping in midair. Uh, okay, no. No. There's actually a Reddit thread that says, can anyone tell me why I'm immune to fall damage? My equipment, Globetrotter Sash, Nimbus Amulet, Terra Steel Armor, and Flugel Tiara. And the people responding are like, why don't you just put on one thing at a time and figure it out? And the answer is the Flugel Tiara, because you can fly with it. That is why he is immune to fall damage, not any of the other things. So um, we can't make the Flugel Tiara because I believe it's been removed because it lets you fly. So there we go. We're keeping it. We're keeping it the way it is. Alrighty then, everybody. This is our this is our setup here. This is our setup. Um, question is, do I bring any more hardy apples? I guess I could. Wait, do I have hardy apples in any of the uh, danks? Confused Paladin, thank you for the five sub gifts. Much appreciated. Um, do I have? 
I do not have. I do not have. Fun. If not fighting the boss, I cannot afterlife the crystal. You can't apply a soul flame if it has other catalyst modifiers on it. There we go. Uh, I don't need another dank quite yet. Not quite yet. We're good. We it. All right. Cool, cool. Um, just top that off there. And all right. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I guess I could bring another crate, too. What is that? Six crates? There's no way we'd ever fill up that much. So I think that'll be fine. Okay, magnet on. Actually, let me repair the magnet. Not that I will ever go through this much, but... This is uh, it's quite a time. It's quite a time. All right. At least we will have uh, regen three. So we got regen on the pants. We got regen on the totem. We got healing in the vault. So as long as we don't take one single nuke of 33 and a half hearts, Hopefully, we will survive. Oh, boy. Okay. Um, Lava Bucket? Hmm. Tadicles wants to see favors. There's the favors. Why was I... Uh, why am I negative one on Valara? I know I was always bad on Tenos, but why am I negative one on Valara now? Okay. All right. Well... Here we go, everybody. Here we go. Spare totem. I don't. I don't think we need to do that. Oh yeah, eat the hearty apples now. Oh my god! How many can you do at once? How many can you do at once? That's crazy. That's crazy. Uh, only one, oh, one third of your max life count. Got it. Hardy, how much do they cost to make? They're pretty cheap, actually. Ah, uh, so that's why, that's why he's got some, but you need vault uh, power-ups, I think. Wait, we have vault power-ups, don't we? Um, I have, how many of the vault out? 200, I only have 246 of them. Not as many as I thought. But uh, yeah, it does make four. Okay. Wait, this is... Okay. Wait, it's still got... You can put a lot of hearts on you. That's... Oh, Heckfire said it's a visual. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. So I've just wasted a bunch of... I just wasted a bunch of hardy apples. Good thing they're cheap. Cool. Great. Great. So as soon as I take damage, a bunch of those hearts are going to disappear, I think. Okie dokie, everybody. This is going to be fun. This is going to be... It's going to be fun. It's going to be very, very fun. You know what, actually? Uh, I, I guess... Oh. <laughs> Thank you for doing that before we went in. Shade Mage with the 25 sub gifts. Much appreciated. Boy, we're going crazy on the sub gifts today! Let's go, let's go. All right, but we're, I'll probably look into what we got after and emptied out after and all that stuff. So thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Yeah, Odin's ring complete. All right. Heck fire, you're going down. This is retribution for the incoming strays at level 115. They're gonna decimate us. All right, we got anime master, very big boy in there. Oh, 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 anime master dealt like uh, uh, only a handful of hits, but was able to get third with that. Valentina Toria dealing the most damage. Put the crystal in the chat. Oh, it'll be in the chat once we enter the vault. They'll see it. 
they will see it. Okay, all right, let's open these up um, after the fact, or clean them up after the fact, I should say. And there we go, thank you very much. Shade Mage, we appreciate it. And, um, okay. All right, we just gotta keep monitoring our armor durability while we're in there. I know it's a little bit greedy to not be repairing, but I do think we're okay. If if you, most of you guys think, oh, he needs to repair his leggings. When the fact of the matter is, the cheese hat's the lowest. You guys just don't seem to mind because it's very, the bar is pretty filled up. Uh, it's just that the leggings, they have a lot more starting durability. So, you know, gotta be consistent at least. So anyway, okay. Hopefully half a heart will not be left. But that said, I was going to bring in some more hearty apples because even if I lost them, it's probably, it's not that hard to get more of. All right. We got the goods. We got the goods. Okay. Wait for Pete to log in. Oh, is he just restarting or is he going? We've got a notch apple in case of emergency. The cool thing actually is with the gluttony charm, the hearty apples can give us a whole bunch of health at a moment's notice. He's restarting his, uh, he's restarting his PC. Um, <laughs> I think it's okay. Well, Zine, Zine will witness. It'll be fine. All right. All right. Do I have, I have poison immunity, right? Yes. Cool. And wither. Great. All right, all right. Here we go, everybody. The plan is just, we don't take damage. We just don't take damage, okay? That's the whole idea, just don't take damage. The skeleton shots shouldn't hurt us dramatically no matter what, so. All right, everybody. Don't take damage. Y'all ready for this? Here we go. Where am I? It's a, it's a three obelisk. Where am I chest set? Where am I chest set, huh? Watch it be like three obelisks in a row. It's gonna be really, really great. Mobs just haven't started yet. Don't worry. They'll be getting here. You guys got the cords, by the way? I hope. I hope. I hope. Yeah. Safe zone gonna be good. Safe zone gonna be uh, helping us out here. Them hitboxes, though. Okay, continuing along, continuing along, continuing along. Oh my god, it's really like this! Ow, ow, that hurt, that hurt, that hurt. Uh, it didn't, keep in mind, it didn't take out as much health as you think, it just removed the hardy apple hearts that weren't real. Um, so, yeah. Frickin' thorns! Okay. We will have to be careful of the spiders. <laughs> it would have been the 
ultimate speedrun vault? That's amazing. It would have been the ultimate speedrun vault. Are you kidding me? What is this? What even is this, man? Wow. What in the world? Alright, I don't like this room for looting, so... Oh, man. Ain't that just great. How do you- what? What kind of creeper armor you got, dude? Any others? Okay, but uh, we're heading west just to keep track. Oh, hello. Oh, who? Oh. Come on, come on. We got him. We got him. Let's go. That's an architect seal. Come on. Yes! Dude, Giant. Giant is the modifier. It's just the best modifier. Oh, Architect Seal, come on, let's go. I realize I should have brought more blocks in, because I might actually have to uh, conserve some of them. Okay, alright. No, no, no. Ow, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. We don't like that. Okay. See, our, uh, our durability should be okay. As long as something doesn't drop onto my head, please don't do that. Everything good, everything good. This is a bad room for looting these chests. We're definitely not looting as quickly as we could be, but, you know, you gotta be careful, right? Okay. Nope! It's gonna be a no from me there. It's gonna be a no from me. We don't, we don't do Vindicators. We don't do Vindicators here. No thank you. It was the, it, it auto picked up the, oh god, I got a treasure arrow from the chest, that's what happened there. I was like, what the heck just happened? That was not one of the ones that I brought in. That was out of my backpack. Jesus. Well then. Alright, let's uh, get rid of some of that stuff. Well, you said you needed blocks. Not like this. That's not what I meant. But yes, I suppose I could get blocks pretty easily, couldn't I now? Do 
Do I care enough about those? Probably not. Ooh, nice echo. Like to see that. Please move out of the way. You have way too much health. You have way too much health. And we go. Yikes! Okay, it's fine. I have Ghost Walk. We're good. Wait. Oh, I just went the wrong way, didn't I? I went very wrong way. Oh, God. Oh, God. I just went very wrong way. Ow, that hurt. That hurt. Yep, the region's nice. As long as I don't get like fully nuked down, we will we will recover fairly quickly. Just sorry, I'm being very quiet and focused due to the uh, potentially bad things that can happen here. Definitely less less chests than there were previously here uh, when we were running that treasure vault. But I guess that makes sense. How do you have so much health? Okay, there we go. Heading north after this. Big scary, big scary. H bomb, you can't you can't call me a wimp anymore though after this. Has anybody else so far this season actively consciously selected to run a frenzy vault? Um yes. Okay, well, whatever. That doesn't fit my narrative, but... Oh wait, didn't we do it? I did it with Pete earlier, didn't I? Mother frick. Yeah, yeah, we did it, we did it with Pete earlier, when no one had experienced it before. Iskall ran a hard, crowded impossible on purpose. I mean, it's, it's definitely a little nerve-wracking. I feel like this is, uh, this is probably my preparation for level 115, huh? Just having to be terrified of everything, except for the part where it's probably worse because the strays can hit you from anywhere.
Thank goodness for the roofs. And no, I am not gonna check, not gonna check the thing because I don't want to get into a closed area with a bunch of mobs. Oh god, imagine silverfish with armor dealing triple damage. <laughs> they would still take more than one hit. And they would just obliterate me. I cannot deal with that. Alright, any more? Is there a gilded up there? Ah, yes, there is a gilded up here. Oh, and there's also a spawner, apparently. But we're good. We are good. We've made it. Okay. Continuing to the east. Yikes. No, oh, thank you. I'll tell you though, Frenzy would actually be good if you just, if like, <laughs> it'd be risky. But if you ran like a, uh, a Frenzy Impossible or something, the, f the sub fighter farming that you could do potentially, if you just like dug yourself in with only a, uh, a slab exposure to where you'd be able to just reach through and take swings at legs, you might actually be able to get just a massive amount of loot. Oh god. Yikes! Is that it? Are we good? Oh, there is one down there. Ah, uh, cool, cool. I love it when it works that way. I was too far away. Okay. Yikes. I see a Vindicator, I say no, no. Not today, not today. I do not want. Okay, heading east after this. I like the fact though that even uh, even when they're giant, they don't actually have like a higher higher range to hit you. I don't think. Honestly, though, thank goodness for the big jumpies. If we did not have big jumpies, we would be in a very different position. I would be scared to see what Frenzy would look like after level 115, no? Sounds like it'd be bad. Don't do that. Don't do that. God. When you get, like, cut off as you've already on your screen placed the blocks, but the, the game is like, no, you haven't. No, you haven't. I don't know how you just got wrecked, but thank you. I think we're still heading north after this. I'm not I'm not looking at gems right now.
No. It will not allow me. Safe zone is so good. Ow. Thorn's chance would wreck friend. Oh, they get wrecked walking on the ice blocks. That's really funny. That's really funny, actually. You could you could create a uh, a mob farm inside of here. Hey, no, bad, bad. Got him. Okay, we're still good. We're still good on all of our durability. Dash bullet would wreck them. I mean, if you had, yeah, crazy, like, cooldown reduction and stuff. Rick. If you had really good cooldown reduction, um, it would be helpful, for sure. So, Iskall would, would probably deal pretty well. Twelve minutes left. I don't think we'll have gotten out of here with uh, nearly as much as we did the last frenzy one. But okay, you guys can't make it up. <laughs> they just fall off, dude. They just fall off the edge, and then that's that. That's really funny. As long as you're not blown up, I'm fine. Everything's good. Everything is good. <laughs> Wait! Holy crap. You, it gives you the drop. It gives you the drop if they, even if you're not the one who unalived them. What? You could straight up do a frenzy, bring in magma blocks, bring in, uh, yeah, bring in magma blocks, do a frenzy, and you could, you could f farm, you could build a mob farm for sub fighters inside of a frenzy impossible. That's actually, that is actually worth trying. Oh, you frick. That is actually worth trying. You don't bring in any good gear. You don't bring in any good gear. All you do is you get into a spawner heavy room. Like maybe just the first room out actually of, of your spawn. And you enclose yourself, turn your magnet on, uh, have all of the mobs get angry and try to reach you. And then they all unalive on the magma blocks. And you just get all of the essence and stuff like that. Actually, that'd be really cool. I don't... I don't... It would definitely not be patched at the very earliest until someone actually tried it out. Because it's too cool to just completely... Okay, alright, alright. You guys gotta chill, dude. No, that's just a witch. No goblin. All right, we still got enough. Uh, still got enough nether rack. I was a little bit worried about that earlier, but we're good. No. The one thing is, we actually like don't have to worry about skeletons. Um, because their arrows don't do a serious amount of damage, and we can just walk up to them and take them out in one hit. So I guess that's nice. It's funny, like, sometimes they spawn inside the wall, kind of suffocating, right? 
and there's nothing that they can do about it because they have such little health. Okay. Um I think we were heading that way east, right? I'm pretty sure. Do bees do direct damage, or do they just poison you? Ow. Yeah, true, you could even just do a fall trap, potentially. Would be a cool thing to attempt. All right, I'm not really seeing anything down here. Okay, bees do deal damage. Got it. Any other chests in here? There we go, there's one. Okay, seven minutes left. And then we gotta... Should probably make our way to the exit starting in like... I don't know, four minutes left, maybe? Would the magnet collect every drop from doing a mob? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay. Ouch! That hurt a little bit. Thank goodness for Regen 3. We like Regen 3. <laughs> Walk into the Regen, get wrecked. Am I still heading? Oh, okay, going south out of here. No. I am mad. Stop. God, you're annoying. Armor is still okay. All right, keeping it going, keeping it going. Whew. Don't, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't be mean. All right, probably just like, um, I guess what we'll start doing is we'll start taking the rooms that'll get us close to going back. So if anybody wants to give the exit cords to me, feel free, Jesus. Uh, six hundred twenty fifty. Okay. And then twenty fifty. So we're going. Right. Ow! Holy! What the freaking heck? That little baby. That little baby is a little pain in the butt. Oh my god! 
I will end you. I will end you, child! Owie. That hurt. Boss fight? Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Okay, we're still we're still moving. Nah, dog. I ain't about that life. Okay, what is it again? Zero six hundred. Zero six hundred um twenty you guys remind me of the chords one more time. Twenty fifty, okay. Oh I literally overshot it. It was in that last room. God, you guys are doing. Okay, I'm out. I'm out. I no no no. The problem is if the boss fight goes south, it goes south very very fast. Um because it'll just, I'll just have my health nuked down, like, immediately. So, yeah. All right, we good, we good. Whew, we survived. Okay, all right. Our gear took a little bit of damn damn, but not a huge, huge deal. And uh, we good, we good. Whew, all right. And now that we've done that, I think I can effectively say that Super Lucky, I don't know, it doesn't seem like it makes a tremendous difference in the loot that we're getting. But maybe I'm off base. It just doesn't seem like that big of a difference, though. But we'll see. Yeah, it's good for treasure rooms, I think. But otherwise, it's kind of underwhelming. All right. And our regen idol lives to fight many other days, hopefully. What is that again? Oh, the grind. He put the grindstone away. Come on. Do I have anything? Yes. And, oh yeah, that was that. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, probably less of a big deal for, for the gildeds. So I guess if I was, like, breaking a bunch of chests, then it could have been something. But, um, we did get a decent amount of star and skill. And vault plating is always good. 900 vault dust. <laughs> always nice, I guess. A whole bunch of bottles of enchanting. Yeah, I mean, it was good. It was good. It was a good turnout. It was a good turnout. Um, let's see. 
Decent amount of Wu-Tac shards. Very nice. It was actually, it was exactly a stack. Cool, cool, cool. Decent vault essence, nugs, some gems, very cool, magnetite, and netherite scraps, okie dokie. Cool. Cool. Not bad, not bad at all. And I think most importantly, uh, our, our, uh, uh, our frames were good. So we fixed the problem. I just needed to get rid of the Twitch preview window. So did the trick. I still should do a restart, but at least we're mostly stable right now. All right, there we go. Good, 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 good stuff. You like to see that. Uh, I got a lot of mystery boxes. I don't know why, why did I just suddenly get more star essence? Not a clue where that came from. A lot of iron. Yo, the question is, how many more star shards can I make right now? Uh, all right, let me see, let me see. What are we up to? Another... 15. I just made 15 star shards. How did I just make 15 star shards? 15 star shards? Yeesh. Oh, oh, I only took out one stack and I had more than the stack before. Got it. Jeez. Uh, okay. All right. All right. How about, uh, how about some skills? How about some skills? We got four. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, we <laughs> huh. Wow. Look at that. It's a lot of star shards. It's a lot of star shards right there, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I guess we can upgrade gear and stuff like that. You know, Iskall did say that we would be accumulating star essence more rapidly, and he was trying to balance for the fact that that was going to happen in the future, so I, fair play to him. Fair play. That's uh, six more stars that we could do if we wanted to. Okay, question is, at 530, should I repair the leggings? Actually, I could run a raffle vault really quick and see if... See about that, because it's. I don't think a raffle vault is going to go through too much of our durability. And then I could repair after that, maybe? Yeah, we could do, we could do. Repair the cheese. Um, let's see. Yeah, but the cheese is like... 422. I'm going to bring the repair core in, but I don't think repairing the cheese yet. Bro, we love getting another architect vault, though. Question is, what do we apply it to? I mean, we apply... So you have to apply the, the seal first before you've applied any catalyst, so it's almost like we might as well just apply it to any vault crystal because once the catalyst... Once the architect seal is applied, it's going to reseed the thing anyway. So we can't even like wait around to hope that we roll something good. Oh, full enchanted gapple. Nice, nice, nice. And then Valentinatoria. There we go. Very swick. Save for another copious rich plentiful. I could do, but uh, again, I might as well just apply it to any crystal. There is, it doesn't do anything for us to save it because it reseeds it when you apply the seal. And yet again, we're going to have another full crate to roll of gear soon enough. Um, do it on a, a co-op? Are you saying do a co-op? Is Zine streaming right now? He is streaming. Hmm. What level is he, though? Could he, would he be able to hang? I guess we aren't at, we aren't at the magical 115 yet. So, you think he'd be able to hang at 72? Um, anyway, let's see. That is Shade Mage. Thank you for the 25er. Much appreciated. And let's do Shade Mage. 
Oh, it worked with the offhand. Nice. God, you've got to be kidding me. Every day. Every day. Pete is over 115. I don't know if I want to experience that myself. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Well, we'll just do it on this one. Here we go. Architect Seal. This will be our next Architect Vault. Let's let's run it up and let's see if we get anything good off the gate. Um Extended locked, Phoenix Hunger Tired, Super Healing, Poison Hunger. Nothing super exciting to start off with. And nothing super exciting here to start off with. All right. Okay. Oh, actually, I don't even have any co-op crystals. I literally, I couldn't even do it if I wanted to. All of these are normies. All right. Hmm. With all of our knowledge, I wonder if I should try boots again. What do you guys think? Wait, Pete is over 120. What is he just... Did he just eat his way up like an insane, insane amount? What? How did he get that high so quickly? I guess he is Pete, so, you know. 133? Oh, what? He just eats the heck out of alt foods. How many burgers do I currently have? 373. I don't even like... I might. I might be able to get myself, if I ate everything to like 115. I don't even have that many pizzas, man. I just don't think there's, I just don't think I'd have that much to uh, be able to do with my stuff. I know, yeah, true, he has the Echo Shop, so I guess people, people give him leveling stuff. That's fair. He gets 20 to 30 burgers a vault? The what? He, he, he what now? Huh? Well, that's crazy. It's kind of wild, dude. It's kind of wild. Are we sure Pete's actually a human? That's a good question. Science says the answer is unknown. But one day we might get to the bottom of it. It's still being explored. He just, he just loots chests like a fiend. Yeah, probably. Do I have any more uh, netherrack? I do. Let's just take some of that and bring it down a little bit. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, I don't need the enchanted gapple anymore, so we're good there. I don't need the power bar. Um, I'll grab the rune dank back. And, uh, oh yeah, I need to get my good sword back. And the axe, oh yeah, I can get rid of the bow. And that are three of the X. Okay. I think let's run a let's run a raffle. We'll see what we can get, dude. Save Pandora's boxes. As Skull's mentioned, he hasn't updated them. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Oh yeah, I have a bunch of this stuff. Bunch of this stuff. I still want to bring in the repair cores and the anvil for now. But everything else I think is good. Great. Great. Uh, let's see. I know I'm like, I'm really getting it kind of close here with the with the cheese hat, but dude, I <sighs> kind of want to try to roll some boots. 
What do you guys think? Should I roll? Should I roll some boots? Should I do it? We still got okay. How many? Sixteen hunters eyes. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. God, I'm so dumb. This is such a sunk cost at this point. Eight sparkle teen every time and a hunter's eye. At least we have 96 more sparkle teen, or I just have to respec vein miner before I do it. And okay. Here we go, everybody. Whew, come on. We have been on a really, really bad streak. A really bad streak. We gotta, we gotta, <laughs> I like how the scrappy pants that we got were like way better than the boots. If I got the scrappy pants, it's regen is the only thing that's keeping me holding on to these leggings. Any other circumstance, and I actually would have swapped them out because of all the all the protection, even if it has less armor toughness. The armor toughness on these is also really good, so it's a little combo. But the boots, I'm less attached to. So, here we go. Come on, come on. Okay. Six with 1.8 armor toughness. 1.8 armor toughness is quite good. Let's see what these... It's not that many levels, but this, this shows some promise. Shows some promise. Okay. It shows some promise. We like that. It's a starting point. All right. All right. They look like elephant feet, too. So we'll be channeling a little bit of Trunks the Loxodon in here. Come on. That's a gigantic thorns chance. That's huge. That's a ma oh, but I don't have thorns damage, do I? Um. So I need to unlock thorns. I'd be wrecking. Wait, actually, that's that's huge for the uh, strays. I bet. I bet that's absolutely huge for the strays. Because the strays will shoot you, and it's basically like you're hitting them with your armor, right? Hmm. Hmm. Anyway. Ooh, another armor? Okay, okay. And, and? Soulbound. Huh. It's an interesting set there. All right, all right. That's not a that's not a bad set of boots. That's not a bad set of boots. The only thing we are missing is the wither immunity. Now, granted, I have like a bajillion wither immunity totems that I can grab from. So it's not a huge deal. And uh Yeah. Oh, I do have wither immunity on this totem too. So there's that. What do these look like when you put them on? Oh. <clears throat> All right, they are level 113. Let me uh, do double Wutex really quick. I don't know if we can afford this. It's a bit of a stretch. They are, they're like little animal paw things. It's kind of cool. That's pretty cool. Name, name them Trunks, Trunks Feet. Sure, we could do that. They're more, they're more brown than like gray, like an elephant, but... Yo, okay, so the question is, though, thorns, huh? Thorns. Chance, 5%, which ups 21%. It's 5. Ugh, it costs 5, though. Mm. Can I make orb frame? Let me see, actually. Let me see. Oh, I have 24 skill shards. And I could make orb frames, can't I? Yeah, 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 I could do. I could do. All right, let's do that. We have we have what it takes. If 
wait, how many do I need again? Uh, and we got Ghost with the Vault Bronze for Vault Dust with the Egg Coin Trader Core. All right, we're going to need uh, eight, I guess, of that. Block. Okay, we got a lot of Vault Unalivements. One, and I think we have a lot of Opals. Oh, do I already have? Oh, all right, it's fine. I don't have any, no, I don't have any orbs. Or, uh, oh, or frame. I don't have any orb frames. I don't have any orb frames. Don't have any orb frames. We're good. Wait, why am I a fool? What do you want? I don't, what do you mean I don't need the skill? What? What do you mean? It says learn five. Oh, you don't need the skill for it. Oh, okay. Oh. Got it. Oh, 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 oh. When you guys were saying don't need, I thought it was something. I thought you guys were saying you don't need thorns to deal with strays. Ah, okay. You don't need the skill unlocked for it to, to do damage. Got it. Okay, that's good. That's good. Uh, that's nice. So this actually, if that's the case, then these boots are big swick. Big swick energy. Um, cool, 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 cool. Okay. Anyway, I, I I'll still make. I might as well use these, right? There's no sense not making skill points. And we have a lot of black opal. Yeah, yeah, got a lot of black opal. Cool. Fatal Strike. Um, extra damage, but it's only 5%. That's not really going to help me too much with this, I don't think. Hmm. Eh, we'll, we'll, we'll worry about it later. We'll worry about it later. Anyway. Okay, so... I guess I could put these booties on Giscon. Sure. There you go. Just a just a reminder that Kiscon has like all the good gear. So when we need anything, we just go to Kiscon. Uh yeah. Tatical says Cap, you need Thorns damage on armor or unlocked. Four thorns chance to work. I'm getting so much mixed feedback, but Tatticles is usually correct. What, but it did Iskall? Okay, can someone look at stats? Thorns, Thor oh, thorns damage zero percent. Thorns damage zero percent. It is, yeah. Yeah, it is. Okay, fair enough. All right, I guess we gotta unlock it then. I guess we gotta do it. I guess we gotta do it. Um, and you need both on armor if you don't. I see. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I just don't need to unlock Thorn's chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the chance is 5% default, so we'll be at 25%, which is actually pretty good. There we go. It's been done. We've learned it. All right. So look. Thorns damage, 50%. Thorns chance, 26%. We're good. Everything's fine. Cool? Cool. Now, unbreaking. And depth strider. And protection. And anything else? I need anything else? Hold on. Um, that's it. Okay, cool. Oh yeah, I need an orange rune. Of course. That's required. Oh, we're running out of orange runes though. Oh god. Uh oh. Uh oh. Wait. 
No, there's no way we're running out of orange runes, right? There's no way. There's no chance we're running out. Nope, there's no chance we're running out of orange runes. Everything is fine in the rune department. Finally, the rune dank has come in handy! I laughed at it before. I thought it was simply saving space in my inventory. But the runes got the last laugh. All right, look at those. Look at those. Oh yeah, and then I guess I gotta call them... Um, locks of boots? Trunks boots? Um, what do I call them? What do I call them? Hmm. QC trunks, <laughs> but they're not people are like, what those are shoes. Uh just trunks. Okay. No, we can't call them air jarred on. It's gotta be something to do with trunks and dungeons and dragons. Um air trunks. Um, trunks, hairy feet. <laughs> I don't think elephants have hairy feet. I mean, they're mammals. They do have hair, but I don't think they're like hairy, hairy feet. A woolly mammoth, maybe, but I'm not a woolly mammoth. I'm an elephant. Air loxodons. <laughs> um... Jordanophant. Jordanophant is actually kind of funny because that ties it into trunks plus my plus the Jordana Jordanophant. Um. <laughs> hmm. Elephant. Wiki feet. No oh god. Uh, all right. Trunk, I'm just gonna call them Trunks Booties. And then we gotta get 15 levels for this. All right, there we go. Looking good. Okay, so leggings, leggings looking a little bit low. The only bummer is that you know, these, uh, they are going to, uh, require very expensive plating and expensive. The plating is worse than the repair cores, actually. I can handle the repair cores, but the plating is a whole other story. All right. It's looking good, though. It's looking very, very good. Let's get you put into the thing. Vault bronze for vault dust. I believe that goes there. Pretty slick. Thank you. Trade H for plating. Yeah, I've heard he has a lot of that, doesn't he? Our, our numbers have actually gone up, though. 380. We've we've almost doubled our, our count. Frick off, bro. And we got the wither immunity on this thing, even though it's probably going to break really soon. And then at least we have cleanse and all that good stuff. Um, okay, we're probably just going to run one more. One more... Volta Rooney. All right, one sec. Okay. All right. So, <laughs> I still can't believe that we got a three obelisk vault with them lined up in the straightaway. And of course, it's one where I have to loot. Like, I can't. Ugh. But it always works out that way, doesn't it? That's just how it. That's just how it do. Okay. All right. Well, this is good. Our armor level is is very big. Armor level thirty two. Armor toughness seven point two. Yeah, that's nice. And um, I guess yeah. The only thing is those uh, 
Those leggings, those leggings are really good. If it weren't for the regen, we, we would be using them. So I guess the other thing would be, I mean, we've actually got, other than other than having tier two leggings, we've got a good tier two chest plate. We've got a good tier two heck mitt that we can switch back to once we get rid of the cheese hat. And then uh, the booties are good too. So we've got a pretty solid armor setup. Does Pete's jetpack like negatively impact his armor significantly, or is it is it pretty strong? Like I'm wondering if there's anything to his loadout that makes the strays bad. Like, do you guys know what Pete and H bomb's armor levels are? Obviously, like the 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 cheese hat's adding three armor that I will not have normally after it's done. So oh, it has zero armor. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay, he switches it on and off. I see. Got it. Oh, but all his others have eight at least per piece. Okay. So he has better better leggings and boots. All right. Uh, let's run the raffle. Here we go. Pete is 30. Pete is 30-ish armor. With what, a missing chest plate? What? Are you kidding me? How is that even possible? He has nine armor on like all of his pieces. Ay, ay. Uh, Rune Dank and Egg Dank is good. Did this call it 33? I believe that, but that's four pieces of armor. I think we have everything. I think we're good. I think we are great. Oh, 24 with a jetpack on, I see. Okay, everyone. Like that, and like that. And everything is good. All right, magnet. Yep, we got to turn the magnet on. You're right, cool. And, um, all right, artifact gamble is initiated. Let's go. It is a four obelisk. It is a safe zone gilded though. Safe zone guild gilded is probably worth a thing. Yeah, that's actually really nice. That's really nice, especially if it's not gonna be a speed run. We might as well loot, yeah. Nope, not gonna be a speed run. All right. And um, yeah, we're not really getting much in the way of uh, other stuff, so. Okay, cool. I guess we shall just loot. I mean, we still obviously need to find the obelisks, so. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start off while, while we're searching for the obelisks. I'm gonna go ahead and um, just kinda only hit up the super obvious visible gilded chests. And then we can focus more time on looting afterwards. It is a lot of mobs. What are you doing? Oh, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Come on. No, no, no. Oh my god, two spiders, come on. What is this, crowded? God, there's so many. Okay, right, this is the end of the first straightaway. Let's go. I'm gonna miss having the extra three reach that we got with this, with the cheese hat. I think that's the thing that I'm gonna miss most. Also, the the hops are pretty cool. I thought at first they might be kind of inconvenient, but they they actually they really help you with you uh, being able to you know maneuver around and stuff. Okay, we don't like vindicators. We don't like vindicators at all. No, thank you. Oh, I'm tired. Never mind. We're not breaking any chests. That's 
Not part of the plan today. Oh. Well, it's a dig site room. What do you know? I don't I don't think I have time. I don't think I have time. Plus I'll take a lot of damage from the mobs and stuff. And I wouldn't be able to break the ch ow. I wouldn't be able to break the chests anyway. Um so that would be kind of annoying. All right, so there's like no obelisk. There we go. There's one. This would not have been a speed run. Nope. Not seeing any gilded's. Gilded's had more chests before if I've just kind of been spoiled by co-op gilded combos and treasure and all that sort of stuff because it just feels like feels like there's less. Okay, this is the one that we actually want to do. Oh, it's <laughs> I was like wait, it's somebody actually I was like it's a creeper? No, it's actually it's it's the skin creeper. Cool. Cool, great. Hey, come come here. Come here, mobs. I need to take out many of you. Pretty please. Um, there we go. And Mr. Trident Boy gonna. Oh, I thought there was an ant on my arm. Okay, this is actually really annoying. I hate the fact that guardians can shoot you from in the water when they're out of the water. Stop! Ow! My cheese heckman. Come to me. How many do I need? Six more. Freaking guardians, bro. The worst. Stop! There's so many in here, it makes it a gigantic pain to try to do this. Yikes, don't, don't, no. Oh, I'm gonna, that's too much zappage. It is way too much zappage going on right here. Good lord. You gotta stop. You gotta stop the zaps, please. And they're all, I'm gonna like hit the mob cap. I can't deal with this many. I can't hit them. Ow. Okay, thank you. Thank you, we're so close. Just one more, please. Please, you, 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 you over there. Got it, okay, we're good, we're good. Nice, 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 nice. Very nice, very nice. Don't do it. Don't do it. Ow, I'm really getting hit from there. Excuse you. Nice echo gem. Like that. Going west. What is that? Uh, is that a health? Oh, it's a health one. I can do it. I can do it. I'm gonna do it. Here we go. Oh, 14. Oh my god, two key pieces? That's huge. So huge. 
Rare pluses, no tier twos, but we like that a lot. Yep, yep, thank you. Dude, altars for altars are the way. That's how you get key pieces. That's how you get key pieces, 100 percent Is that a it's a mob demonization? There aren't too many mobs in here though. Also, we definitely need to find the obli the uh sorry, orbies. We need to find the orbies. Orbies, please. Where are my orbies at? Uh, can we can we get some more? Can we get some more? I really really like to get some mobs. This isn't even a personal space vault, and it feels so empty. Where are they? Come to me. Come to me. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Maybe we can get some more to spawn over here. Oh, there they are. There they are. Can they get up top, though, is the question. Do I have to build you guys a staircase? God, what if I have to build them a staircase? Can they get up to me? <clears throat> Come on, guys. Come on. You can do it. I believe in you guys. You can, f you can find a way up. You can find a way up. Optimistic Gilded Raffle. Wow, that was a nice set of combinations, too. Very nice, very nice. Come over here, come over here. What do we got, what do we got? Seven, ugh, it's so slow. <laughs> they don't know how to get up. I need to help them. How do I help you? How do I help you? Wait. Um. You guys. Come here. Come here. I'm helping you. I'm literally helping you. Do not blow up my thing. Do not blow up my thing. You guys got this. There we go. Who who would have thought that I this would devolve to me building a staircase for monsters so that they could all come to me? There we go. Brilliant. This is working great. Come one and all. And it wasn't really that good. Unless they're tier two. They're not tier two. Okay. Well, all for not much, but here we are. Oh, wait, is this an unalived end? This is an unalived end. This is opposite day. I'm doing frenzy vaults. I'm leading the mobs to me. Oh my god, who is he? Somebody find the real Jardon. Which clone escaped the basement? This can't be the real Jardon. It has to be one of the more aggressive clones of his. It's Lemon Uncle. Right, right, right. Probably is, probably is. Okay. If I don't see any gilded, not gonna go for it. Still need to find a couple of orbies. Ow! Also, how is our Heckmet doing? 391. Uh, hold on, where am I going? Wait, can I go over here? I cannot. Come on, Thorns. Do your work. Do work. Any others? No.
Somehow I always end up with sea pickles in my inventory. It's like it's like a it's a vault favorite for some reason. Oh, yeah, two two dig sites in a single vault. What do you know? Too bad we're not really going to be putting them to use. I feel like we'll get better better use out of spending our time just trying to get the uh, separate gildeds. Because once again, um, we can't we can't easily mine all the chests. Okay, sixteen minutes, two more orbies. Come on, where are you at? It's another sea pickle. Why? Where do the sea pickles come from? Does anybody know where the sea pickles come from? The sea. Thank you for the clarification. I uh, appreciate that. Okay. Oh, oh, there's one more. There's one more over there. There's two more. Ow. Cool. Only one more orby. And then we are good. All right. One more Orby in 15 minutes. I believe in us. And our armor is doing great. We might not even have to repair it here. We can just keep stretching it thin. Ow. Ow, frick. My armor durability, I hate it. I would like your gear, though. Oh, hey, it's Creeper. Aw, oh, man. I have a feeling somebody gifted a Tier 3 sub to Creeper for the 10-year uh, anniversary of Revenge. Just a subtle feeling. Ow. Uh, Sapphic Agent says, I did? Was it you? I'm sorry if I missed it. It's been some notifications, you know. I, I'm not always on top of reading moth as they come in and stuff like that. Uh, where is any others? Any more? Any other things? Hello? No, no other gildeds. Not that many gildeds. Sometimes you get really lucky and a room just has like gildeds all over the place. Other times you go and it's just like, no. I'm sure each room has at least a few, but it's like not easy to find. And more random gravel that I get in my inventory. There's an ant on my toe. I swear to God. Let's get the frick off. I didn't even need to look down. I know the feeling at this point. I know the feeling. All right. Hey, and we got the Orby. Okay, track the cords, track the cords. Have we any gildeds? Doesn't look like it. All right, at this point, we might as well just kind of search around a little bit more for gildeds in each of the rooms now that we know where we need to go. Uh. 
3,200, 2,000. Easy enough to remember. It's so easy to remember that I will forget. But it's a good thing I have you guys. Alright, I- dude, I swear though, and- oh, should I do this? Yeah, I'll do this. The- the amount of guilders that we're getting isn't, like, enough for me to just not wanna sacrifice the time. I'm down to sacrifice the time. We can get some good goods here. Frick off! God, that spider was just going crazy. Ow! Okay, we're good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm just gonna go now. What about the mob spawns like that when I... When I'm like, look, ow, god dang. How about some mob spawns when I actually need them for that? And how many times will he get a sea pickle in his inventory during this vault? <laughs> we love sea pickles here. Ow. Uh, what do you want a bit? There's a sea pickle in my inventory. There's not. It's gravel. Gravel and sea pickles. All I can ever receive. No. Bad. Actually, why am I bothering with this? I don't need to. What is that, a time? Uh, ooh, three minutes at this point's a little scary. Should I do it? Should I do it? Should I do three minutes at this point, just hit it, and then go back? Do it, do it, do it, do it. Okay, 3,200, 2,000, okay. Cool, yeah, nice, nice Omega. That was uh, great Omega, best Omega. Okay. 3,200, 2,000. Gotta skip the gildeds. Ain't nobody got time. And, okay. Uh, I guess we do it! Why are you attacking me? What the frick? Why didn't you attack the others? Okay, cool. We good. We got it. We did it. And we still have 350 durability. We only went through like 100 durability on each of our pieces of gear there. Pretty good. I guess the uh, question is, do we get an artifact? I hope so. Um, Alrighty then. Don't open the Pandora's boxes, they say. All right, I won't do it. What do we get? Common, common, rare, rare, pretty cool, pretty cool. Filling that chest up. Look at those two key pieces. Let's go. We love that. Ooh, and another hunter's eye. Didn't even notice that one at the time. 
Common, common, rare, rare, scrappy boy. And okie dokie. Will he get an artifact? Let's go, believers. Let's go, believers. Come on! That's that's a win for the non-believers. Well, rip. Uh, okay. Got a lot of unalive statues here. Double megaliths and shade mage and elixir and what a bees. Gotta get you juiced. How about in here? Oh my god, dude, we're cranking through the star essence. Incredible. Incredible work. And let's see. Like candies. Ooh, catalyst fragments. Nice, nice, very nice. Yeah, the reason why we don't get too many catalyst fragments is because we've been running a lot of uh, catalysted vaults. If you're not aware, if you run a vault that was made using catalysts, you will not receive catalysts in that vault. So, that's the only real downside that you get out of running a, a catalysted vault. All right, yeah. We'll we'll uh we'll roll the gear. We'll roll the gear. Do a little omega prediction, huh? Yeah, how many echoes we got? I feel like we're doing <laughs> 66 echoes with seven echo ores that probably gives us like 20 if we're lucky so 86 echoes for a non-echo hunter i mean i don't know where the iskal's at iskal's probably higher than that but you know you know i feel like we're in a pretty good spot can i can i do that thank you i like where we're at it's a good place to be. Oh yeah, how much durability? 2350. It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. We might get one more vault out of the uh out of the cheese hat before we got to do a repair on it, you know. Okay. All right. Are we done here? We are done here. Good. Okay. Did I leave bronze in my dank? I did. So much of it. And more plates. Cool. Okay. All right. Uh, yes, some vault on alivements as well. <sighs> Can we get an Omega? Let's find out. Fingers crossed. I hope. I hope you've got it, believers. I hope you've got it. All right. Here we go. This is our final act of the stream, everyone. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Even though it's only gonna be only gonna be an Omega Tier 1. And uh, as it stands right now, our tier twos are kinda outclassing most of what you could hope to get 
out of even an Omega tier one. So, but we'll see, we'll see. Common, rare. Wendar with a reach plus 7% cooldown. What do these vault chest plates look like? Oh, it's like a kind of a sash thing. It's cool that it shows the Nimbus amulet. I kind of like that for it. All right, let's go again. See what we get. Uh, Hannah, Kate, thank you for the raid. Hey, everybody. We're actually nearing the end of ours, so apologies for that. But uh, we're basically opening the equivalent of mystery loot boxes, except they're free. We didn't have to gamble our life savings away. Just, just our Minecraft life. We had to risk that in order to get it. Um, we want things that are Omega. Not that that's really of any context, but uh, Omega. Yeah, I mean, Omega's good, right? If you see something that's called Omega, you'd be like, oh, that's pretty cool. So, you know, that's what we're going for. I want something that says Omega, and then people win the stuff in the chat. All right. Rare, rare, common, rare, scrappy, gross, disgusting, and disgusting. Icky. I have to clear all these idols out of this uh, this thing eventually because it's just taking up so many slots. But I guess I'm gonna put it in. Seven percent key cooldown is nice though. And also, unfortunately for the believers out there, I think we went through most of our like common plus rare plus ones that we just got recently at first. So I should have done it in the reverse way. Common, scrappy, gross, gross. Uh, gross, 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 disgusting, disgusting, icky, nope. All right, this is our final chance here. Okay. Idol is not Omega, it just has a green, green look to it. A lot of garbage. A whole lot of garbage. Oh, why did I throw that in there, by the way? All right. And it all comes down to this. Omega Idol does count. And eh, they're both only common plus, so. Eh. Here we go. Common, 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 rare with a ton of repairs, common, common, it's a common, sorry everybody, wait, 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 don't end the prediction yet, oh yeah, those were, those were, yeah, I forgot, I brought those over too, okay, that's it, no, no megas, congratulations, non-believers, I wish I wasn't congratulating you. Be cool if we got Omega, but nope. All right. Well then, oh, part of me like wants to break more of the ores. How many vein miner uh, respects? We got three. We haven't gotten any more. Yo, I'm over 700 Wu-Tang shards. If I got a vault gear that was gated behind level 800 and something, I would be able to wu tax that down so it was usable. What kind of vault gear do we think we would be receiving at level 800? <laughs> Anybody going to reach? You think Pete's going to reach level 800 before the end of the season? Is that going to be possible? Craft Catalyst. Should I do that or should I make another table? That's what I don't know. I guess I can always save. Uh, I'll just save a little bit. So that if we want to make a table, we can always kind of have four left over. Let's see. 
How many do we got? We got 11. I can make one more. That's a really good catalyst. Nice. Very nice. Okay. Let's check that with our limited stuff. Not many, not many crystals, but I guess we can try it with these ones. Yeah. I guess we can try it with all of them. Okay. So, although if it has safe zone, it won't apply. So, let's see. Simple giant. Uh, super speed. Healing fast. Healing raging. Mm, don't know about that one. Um, speedy poison. Nope. We're going to need some more crystals. <laughs> We're a little bit low on those. So, yeah. Grind out a couple crystals before the end. Um, I, I think... I'll pro here. I can I can finish this one at least, real quick. But I think that I am gonna try if I am able to just do some crystal grinding in between. Frick! That just went into the dank. I think it'll just be better off that way. That way, you guys don't have to sit through as much grinding on cam. And then I think I have it. Oh, oh yeah, we got Nautilus shells, and do I have enough cobblestone? I might. Uh, do I? No, I don't think so. Although I might, I might have some in a chest. Let me see. I might be able to just barely squeeze this one out without having to go back into the mine. Although today is the 10 year anniversary of going back into the mine. So it might, it might be a good thing to do. <laughs> but let's just see if we can avoid going back into the mine. Oh, we might, we might be able to avoid going back into the mine on this day. Has he avoided going back into the mine? He's 24 away. Is he going to avoid going back? Oh, he doesn't have to go back in the mine. He doesn't have to do it. Sorry, guys. I put that work behind me. We don't go into the mine anymore, dude. That was 10 years ago. Now, now we let the others generate the resources for us. Okay? There we go. And let's see what we got. Okay. Nothing very exciting. Nothing very exciting. And nothing very exciting at all. Cool, 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 cool. cool. That's co-op crystal. All right, that is cool. Okay, everybody. I think that might be where we leave it off for today, other than throw the oh wait we might be able to get one more mega head can we do it one more mega head i think this might do it yep there we go hey it's mega lit nice i actually don't have any water uh all right congratulations mega lit on being do we have a, a mega lit mega head i'm not sure we do I know that Iskal has one. Um, let me search for the barrels. I guess we'll go unalive them and barrel under you. I don't think we... No, that's a first. That is the first one we've got. Where should we put you? Hmm. Maybe over here. I'll flatten out this dirt. I'll put you over here.
Okay. What do we want to generate here? Smooth stone, metal slate, scoria. I feel like smooth stone, probably. Smooth stone we have seen in various vault crystals before. And um, so, yeah, that, that could probably be a good one. Dirt's easy to get on its own. So, yeah, smooth stone's the way to go. Cool. Hold on, let me... Uh, oop. A little close. A little close to the other one. Maybe like right there. All right, sec. Okay, cool. Good to go. All right. Well, um, yeah, maybe we'll accelerate your chip it at some point. But there we go. Congratulations, Megalit. All right, that's uh, that's where we will leave it off for now. So thank you everybody for tuning in. Make sure that you check the playlist in the description if you missed any episodes you want to catch up. Go to qualitycontent.com if you want to check out quality content clothing for a limited time before it is all gone. Shade Mage. I think Shade Mage is one before. Shade Mage is on a winning streak. Nice. And uh, yeah, super cool, super cool. Also, mcprohosting.com slash Captain Sparkles if you're interested in staying 25% off your first month of hosting a Minecraft server and stuff like that. Um, oh, speaking of Megalit, there you go. Uh, <laughs> Megalit is everywhere. All right, and then uh, let's see, Astro Headsets, link in the description, 5% off anything on the site. And like the video, subscribe, turn on notifications, all the above, and that's it. I'll see you next time.